doing a burger off. Today, I'm going to do the battle royale of burgers. In and out. Versus Shake Shack. East Coast versus West Coast. I'm not a big burger guy. I would uh, prefer a steak. So I'm going to go see what all the hype's about. The sick thing about In-N-Out is they have a drive through which is perfect for my car because I'm getting tan. And Shake Shack, you got to get out and go wait in line. And I hear some of their lines are outrageous. I mean, I know the drive through line can sometimes be annoying, but and the comfort of the car. In-N-Out burger is very, very, very popular. Serious beef. No pun intended. You don't hate on the in and out over here. Didn't I get... I didn't get a hamburger too? Just two cheeseburgers. Okay, that'll work. I'll live. Wow. Look at this slime. <laughs> Check this out. You're not gonna get that in the classroom here in line. It's been 20 minutes and I'm halfway. I'm beginning to learn that this is a restaurant. Uh, in and out Burgers fast food. You gotta wait for your food, but they have beer while you wait, which is great. This is amazing. First Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Versus in and out Burger Off 2017. I know from the West Coast, people live and die by in and out Shake Shack has come up so fast, and that is like the cool thing now. I don't know so much Shake Shack because I'm not on the East Coast, but I've always wanted to try it, and this is the first time I will ever try a Shake Shack. I'm gonna go through the differences right now. So check it out. The fries at in and out I never, sorry, I got hungry and ate some. I never was a fan of the fries from in and out in the past because they're like just soggy and weird. But these ones today, they stepped it up. And then over here, Shake Shack, they're gonna throw you for a loop. What do they call these? Wedges? Or they call them, um, uh, I don't know about these ruffles. We're not familiar with these like ridges over here on the West Coast. That's kind of like some carny stuff. I personally prefer the in and out ones, even though I used to hate them. Prices, $12. $20. It's literally half the price at in and out But you know what? Forget about all that stuff today. It is about the burgers. East Coast, West Coast, in and out Shake Shack. in and out burgers look amazing. Uh, we got to, I mean, they are like the supermodel of burgers, of fast food burgers. So I'm going to have to go because see, everything is uniform. See these, they're kind of like misshapen. That's a Shake Shack. And in and out it's like everything else in California. Perfect. Aesthetics, I'm going with in and out well, I mean, obviously, as you can see, this in and out is not a double. It's obviously a much bigger burger and also half the price, which is ironic. But that doesn't mean it's better just because it's bigger. Aroma. Uh, this is appetizing, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty close. You know what? That's really hard to tell. I'm gonna give that one to Shake Shack. Now let's get to the meat of this vlog. It's the taste test. Here we go, in and out. I've had you before. That is a tasty burger. That is good. My first Shake Shack burger ever. I'm excited. I really am actually. Heard so much about it. The meat, as I let it linger, tastes really good. As I chew it and hit hits my palate, at first bite, I'm thinking, let me do some more taste tests. This may be one of the happiest meals of my life. They're different burgers. They really are. I'm shocked. I really like the In-N-Out burger, but I really like the Shake Shack experience. Although waiting in line sucks, but once you wait in line, you realize it's an experience. in and out is a great burger. Grab it, go. I cannot pick a winner because they're two totally different restaurants. Go try it for yourself. It's fun. 
What's up, it's Max, and I'm back on TMZ every Tuesday on the TMZ YouTube channel. Follow me in my crazy adventures, travels. It's gonna be fun. Don't forget to subscribe.